New at eight, a man is facing time in federal prison tonight, convicted of setting up what the feds call a large scale marriage fraud scam. Court documents say the man did this for at least 600 people in KCAL News assignment editor Mike Rogers at the desk. Mike, simple question, why the fake marriages? Uh, well, for him, for the money, according to the federal court documents, he made a ton of money off of this uh, alleged scheme that he has just pleaded guilty to along with a bunch of his co-conspirators. But uh, basically this was done to help people who uh, needed citizenship get their citizenship that they needed by doing a marriage and basically uh, scamming the United States government. Now, I want to show you some photos here. This is from the US DOJ. They released these to me today. This is some, uh, still from a security picture where they were uh, caught making these deals. And then these photos that you see of these seemingly happy couples are all bogus, according to the federal government. They say that this guy, who has been identified as Marcialato uh, Benitez, a.k.a. Mars, staged all of this, would even rent churches, playgrounds, parks, hire online ministers to come perform these marriages, knowing full well that none of them were legitimate. I want to come to my computer here because I want to show you something from the court documents here. These are a snippet of text messages that the feds were able to obtain. It says, quote, Devin, find me a girl like matches 53 male guy want to meet at 5 30 and have the marriage tomorrow morning then he's got a whole sheet here full of questions for the couples once they're married uh, for their interview they say the main objective is to prove that the marriage is genuinely true this is an actual page that he typed up and gave to people there's all sorts of questions on here where does your spouse live before you lived in the city they live now what's the name of your spouse's best friend what's their favorite foods his favorite restaurants hobbies who pays the rent all kinds of extensive lists of questions here about the relationship relationship and all kinds of different stuff on the wedding day. Now, as we come back out here to the desk, the federal government alleges that is uh, if the U.S. citizens that were involved in these scams got cold feet or backed out, that he would actually claim to the U.S. government that these men were then beating the women and allowing the women to stay in the country under a battered women's act. Now, uh, if convicted, he could face several years in prison for this in a federal prison. Several of his co-conspirators have also pleaded guilty, but there are still more cases to be sought. All of this happening out of a business on Wilshire Boulevard here in LA. Yeah. You guys. Well